So the first thing we would need to do is actually get a bootstrap to our folder, right? So you can see over here that I have a bootstrap folder and within that folder I have CSS folder and a JavaScript folder. And you will see in a second just why I created these folders. But over here you can see that I have a empty index HTML. And we're going to look at two ways how we can get bootstrap to our project. And one is going to be using a brackets extension. The other one is going to be actually using a bootstrap website. So the first one we're going to be using a bootstrap website. So let's say we're going to go to Google over here. And you can see over here that I already uh, wrote a bootstrap. So we just find over here this first website. And you can see that this is a bootstrap, right? So we just click getting started over here. And then you can see that we have a couple of options, right? We have a SAS and source code. And we're just going to click a bootstrap one, download bootstrap over here. So we're just going to download bootstrap right here. So now it's downloading to our computer. And over here you can see that they have this uh, little thing called basic template, right? So we just click it over here. And you can see that they're giving us a, a advice or maybe a rule. Uh, you can call it however you'd want. So basically how our uh, document should look like. So the easiest thing is we're just going to grab it over here, this one. And you can see that I massively over-exaggerated, right? So um, we'll just need to copy this, this thing. So I'm just going to copy this over here. I'm just going to say copy, go back to the brackets, our text editor. And here I'm just going to paste it, right? So now you can see that we have our document. Now you can see what they're requiring, right? They're saying bootstrap min CSS, right? And here they have bootstrap min JS, right? But you can see that with this template, they already included a jQuery, right? So we just go back, head back to our downloads over here in the finder. You can see that this is going to be the zip file that I just downloaded over here. And you can see that they were opening the folder, right? So I'm just going to close for now this, minimize this bootstrap, uh, bootstrap website that we had. And you can see that this is my bootstrap folder, right? So I'm just going to open this bootstrap folder. And you can see that I have CSS and JS, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a CSS min, right? So where we have the CSS min, right? So we have bootstrap theme min CSS and we have bootstrap min CSS. So I'm just going to grab this bootstrap min CSS and paste it to a CSS, right? So I'm just going to have it over here. And now it's sitting in my CSS folder in my bootstrap folder. Now, another one that I want is boot JS, right? The JavaScript one. So I just, again, find a bootstrap min JS, and I'm just going to drag it to a uh, JavaScript folder. Now, obviously, we could have done without creating these two folders, CSS and JS, but it's just a little bit more convenient if we're basically following whatever they rules set up for us, right? So over here now you can see that we're basically a uh giving an address right which is a correct one which goes to bootstrap min css and probably the easiest way to figure out right is probably make some couple of i don't know a jumbotron or something like that right so we're just gonna write div and we're gonna give it a class and we're gonna give this class jumbotron over here and we're just gonna check it out let's say hello world right and we're just gonna save this and let's just check it out whether we have it, right? So this is going to be my live preview one, right? And you can see that they have the standard, a bootstrap preset Jumbotron. So we have success successfully downloaded a bootstrap. And obviously we can get rid of these ones, right? These are just comments out that pretty much explains everything. And you can see the nice thing right away, they have all the meta tags that we need and all that good stuff. Now, there's actually a little bit better way. Well, not a better way, maybe a little bit easier way, right? So if you're using the brackets, we can just go to brackets extensions over here like this. And I'm going to click on extension manager. Uh, sometimes, unfortunately, it's going to take a little bit of while of uh, opening this extension manager. Uh, well, you can see it's here. Now we have available, we have themes, and we have install, right? And the extension that uh, is interesting to me is the bootstrap starter template or here this one right and you can see that I already have it in my installed right so if we close it and once we have installed it we just go to brackets file over here and we have a new bootstrap template and what's going to happen is that we right away have a new 
bootstrap file and I guess I could just call it like bootstrap HTML because what we need to do is we need to uh, actually a save as right we need to save it as some type of name right so what do we do over here we just write save as and now you can see that I'm dealing with this one right so I'm just gonna bootstrap HTML and the good thing is you can see right away this file we have this a template right this is gonna be a nav template and you're gonna see it in a second how it looks in a live preview and you can see that this is the container but you can see without even going to any website or anything. I have right away this template, right? Without even um, downloading any files or anything like that. So in this bootstrap HTML, even I, if, even if I go back over here, and let's say that in this case, I'm just gonna select this bootstrap min, right? And I'm just gonna delete this, right? I'm just gonna say, yeah, that I wanna delete this and I'm gonna go to, let's say, uh, JS right and the only reason why I'm deleting them and I'm just showing you that my bootstrap is still gonna work right the index HTML is not gonna work anymore because those files don't exist right but so I'm gonna delete this one for now and that index HTML we don't need it for now so we're just gonna say delete index HTML right but this bootstrap HTML is actually gonna work and just to prove it to you that it actually does work I'm just going to again click on a live preview and maybe we're going to click it one more time and now you can see that you can see that I have bootstrap template without any bootstrap downloaded fo files right because you can see over here that it's using a uh, content delivery network or CDN right it's using for a CSS and it's using for a JavaScript right and obviously right away it has included a uh, jQuery right so for me i always find this a little bit easier of course if you want to do some kind of changes in your bootstrap you should definitely download the bootstrap but for the purpose of these videos we're just going to be using this uh extension boom brackets extension the bootstrap started template because i just find it a little bit more easier and what i'm going to do over here i'm just going to rename right now this file and I'm just going to say index HTML, right? So this is going to be my main file, index HTML. But instead of going and actually downloading, which we covered how to do that. So if you're not using the brackets if you, or if you don't want to do it, you know how to download. However, I'm just going to be using this extension just to make my life a little bit more easier. <laughs>